It's Bradley Central 25, 11 and 13. And Bradley Central will kick it away to the Blue Devils. Andre Logue deep. Deffendahl is the pivot man, and they squirt it along the ground to Deffendahl. He'll pick it up at the 35 or route to the 30 and roar out to about the 34-yard line, and Lebanon will put it in play at that point. Blue Devils will have it at their own 34-yard line. Pretty good field position for the Blue. Need to get something going now. Blue Devils need to score as they trail 25-13 with 3.57 to play in the third period. Lebanon has shown some flashes offensively tonight. They need to put together a sustained drive. Don't get in a big hurry. Still a lot of football to be played. Lannon sets his ball club down. Bites the fullback. Logue is the tailback, and they give it to Logue. Logue jams it up in the middle, gets a yard. Not much more. He may have crossed the 35 to the 36 and picked up two. Let's see where they mark the thing. They will give him a two-yard gain. It'll be second down and eight for the Blue Devils. Logue uh, making some comments to the officials. Maybe feel there were some uh, extracurriculars at the end of that play. Logue and Antoine Ross rotating at the tailback spot. Logue in there right now for Lebanon. Deffendahl to the left. Jones to the right. Lebanon moving left to right as you listen in. Lannon sets the ball club. And again, they give it to Logue. And Logue going to be hit and get a couple of yards out to the 38-yard line. So it'll bring up a third down and six for the Blue Devils. Logue gets two more out to the 38. Antoine Ross replaces Logue, also into the football game at a wide receiver spot. It's Landon Baird for Lebanon. Schaefer joins him as the flanker. Ball near the Lebanon 39, and it's third down and five will be the situation. Schaefer goes to the left, Baird to the right. Lannon evidently changing the play at the line. Lannon sets him up. Third and five for the Blue Devils. Motion, Antoine Ross. Lannon to throw. Quarterback draw goes nowhere. They're all over Lannon. At, back at the 35. John, they came through almost unobstructed they ran the play fake they were they were going to pump it to ross in the flat and turn landing loose and man bradley came pouring through there uh, they saw something happening there of course landing checked off at the line thought he had something there was going to pump it out like you said to R ross in the flat and just got creamed there behind the line of scrimmage schaefer back to kick ogle back to receive 25-13. Schaefer's got plenty of time. Oh, great kick. Ogle going to have to let this one go, and it's going to hit and take a blue double bounce uh, inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. Schaefer got a good one that time, got it high enough that the Ogle had to let it go. There was no return. Good technique, good extension by Schaefer. Terry, a fine result on that punt. Kick by Schaefer, good for 39 yards, no return. So Bradley Central going to start at their own 24, 147 left in the third quarter. Blue Devils need something good to happen. Blue Devils need a turnover right here. Bradley has fumbled it 17, has lost 17 fumbles on the year, and man, I can think of no better time than right now to get another one. I'm with you. Al Morris gives it to that fullback. And he heads for the far side, breaks a tackle. He's at the 30. He's at the 35. Dropped finally up at the 38-yard line. And this big fullback is absolutely killing the Blue Devils. He's Blake Morris. He's six foot three, 225 pounds, and he's leaving Blue Devils in his wake. Stillman has picked up a cramp. He comes out of the game. Harrison Haynes goes in for Lebanon. Stillman playing both both sides of the ball, playing nose man defensively, center on offense, and he's going to have to get a little break. First down and 10 for Bradley as they get motion, and again they give it to that fullback, and here he plows over the 40, out to the 43, to the 45, and they'll stop him finally at the 45, but he'll pick up seven on first down. It'll be second down and three. Blue Devils not doing anything with the big guy. Clyde, they're getting such a good push up front with that offensive line. Morris, a battering ram himself, just pounds it up in there, and they're happy getting that four or five a pop in the occasional 20-yard burst. And they give it to him again, and he breaks a tackle. He's over the 50, over the 45, down to the Lebanon 44-yard line. He's running wild now over the Blue Devils, and they're not being able to do anything about it. They spot it at the 45. Blue Devils trailing 25 to 13, and Bradley right now in control. 
Terry. Maybe one more play in the third period. Blake Morris has got some impressive stats so far, Terry. Tommy, 28 carries. We're still in the third quarter. 28 carries, 193 yards. They set him up. First and 10 at the 11 and 45. And again, they give it to that fullback. And here he goes. Big yardage. Got the first down over the 35. Down inside the 33 all the way to the 31-yard line. And enough for the first down. Once again, Morris just rips right at the heart of that Lebanon defensive unit. They're getting a great push. Jackson at 295, Howell at 225, Brandon Cash at 245, Farr the center at 225, and it's it's just leaning on Lebanon and giving Morris a crack, and he's taking the most advantage of it. Al Morris sets it up, gives it to Ogle. Sweep to the far side, Ogle hit and drop. No gain on the play. Clyde, Martin drops Ogle. We give it to that halfback and the wingback just enough to keep you honest, to keep you from loading up in the middle. And a, a well-conceived offensive plan here tonight by Bradley as they're taking it right to Lebanon. That's the end of the third period. 12 minutes of regulation football to be played. Lebanon trails Bradley Central by a score of 25 to 13. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Football to be played tonight. Lebanon trails Bradley Central in the first round of the TSSAA Class 5A playoffs by a score of 25 to 13. We are in Cleveland. Stay tuned tonight for the postgame scoreboard show. Coaches breakfast Saturday morning at 9 a.m. from Uncle Pete's Cumberland University football Saturday afternoon and of course Titans football on Sunday on FM 98.9. Al Morris sets his team, hands it to that big fullback, and he is hit. And he doesn't get the first down this time. Well, it's only second down, but he gets across the 30 down to the 28-yard line, a gain of about two. Justin Jones, the first man to hit him. Martin was there on the tackle. Neighbors was around the football. Jones and got in there first, Clyde, and was digging at that football, trying to pry something loose. Lebanon's defenders have decided that they're going to try to make initial contact, and Somebody else on the pile is going to try to strip that thing away. We've got to create some situation to get the ball out of their hands. Third down and seven. Al Morris, the quarterback. Blake Morris is the fullback. Oh, and they give it to Blake Morris. Big hole up the middle. Morris, he's got the first down. Blasts over the fifth, over the 20. Down to about the 17-yard line. And it seems like they hold them and hold them. And when they need that third down play, that big guy just rips off a big run. Physical football at the point of attack. Nothing fancy. They're just trying to mash Lebanon face mask to face mask. And they're getting the push right in the middle. Well, Lebanon giving up 30, 40 pounds a man in the line. Go forth in motion. They give him the football. Sliding outside. Blue Devils got to hurry. Go forth. Turns it at the 10. And he's ridden out of bounds down near the five-yard line. Clyde Blake Morris got a great block. The kid can run, but he also got a block to spring go forth on the corner. He caved in three Lebanon defenders right there and go forth, Terry, with a nice run. Tommy from the 17, he's run out of bounds at the five. That's a 12-yard pick, pickup, first and go, Bradley Central. 10.40 to play, not looking good for the Blue Devils here. Bradley knocking on the door, first and goal at the Lebanon five. They lead 25-13, and they give it to the big fullback, and he plows and drives and squirts over the four to the three, down near the two-yard line. Lebanon trying to gang tackle him and keep him out of that end zone. We're at 10 minutes, 15 seconds of regulation play left in this game. Bradley knocking on the door, second down and goal. They lead Lebanon 25-13. Ball at the two, second and goal. Wonder who will get the call. Ha. <laughs> My money's on that big guy. Yeah, me also. Al Morris sets him down. Morris to Blake Morris, and he is in for the score. Touchdown. Morris takes it in. For the touchdown, 9.48 to go in the third, in the fourth quarter. Bradley County goes on top 31 to 13. John, you've got the call of this PAT attempt. Goins in to attempt the point after the quarterback, Al Morris, will handle the snap from center. Snap is called for its back. It's on the tee. Kick is up. Looks good. It is. 
Bradley Central, Central 32, the Blue Devils 13, 9.48 to go in this contest. This sideline report is brought to you by Ron's Family Hair Design, located on North Cumberland Street in Lebanon. Score here in Cleveland, 32-13, Bradley Central will be back in 30 seconds. Marching 76 yards in 10 plays. On eight of those plays, they hand it to Blake Morris. He also scores the touchdown, a four-yard run. Goins kicks the extra point. It's 32-13, Bradley Central, 9.48 left in this ballgame. And here's the kick, a squibbler along the ground, going to be picked up by Baird, and Baird is going to be hit and steamrolled just as he picks it up. Lynn Bafford, a senior, quick coverage man, quickly put the hammer on Landon Baird. Glad we had a score from that Beach McMinn Central football game. Uh, McMinn on top of Beach by a score of 17 to nothing. Is that right? Uh -huh. 17 to nothing uh, early in that football game. So Beach in trouble tonight. Lebanon sends out three wideouts now. And Lannon sets the ball club down. Lannon straight drop back, wants to throw, fires, got Jones. Jones trying to get more yardage and fights and claws and goes to the 40-yard line. And we have a flag come in. That may be a face mask. Flag came in at the end of the play. Lebanon running the combo route on the near sideline. Two receivers. Jones on the inside makes the catch. Face mask is going to be the call. That'll tack on some extra yardage there, the big mark off against Bradley Central. At the end of the play. It'll be the five yard type, but it's enough for the first down and Lebanon will move the football out at their own 45 yard line and have a first and 10. Blue Devil really got to go to work if they have any hopes left in this ball game. Lannon sets the team. Lannon back to throw, fires, Schaefer to the far side, Schaefer at the 50. Breaks a tackle, stretches down to the 46-yard line, a gain of nine on the play. Good pass protection by the interior Lebanon's offensive line. Bradley Central had blitzed quite a bit in the first half off of the corner, trying to get wide and get some pressure on Chad as he throws the football. Terry, he's completed his last two. Completed his last three. Actually, Tommy, he's now 9 of 14, 108 yards and also two touchdowns. Not a bad night throwing the football for the Blue Devils, but they've got to air it out from here on in. Again, they go with a three wide out set. Bradley going to lay their ears back and come after him. And a quarterback sneak gets the first down. That time he caught him napping and went on the no count quarterback sneak. Spurts over the 45 all the way down to the 42 yard line where it is first down and 10. Steelman has picked up that cramp again on his right leg and they're going to send him to the sideline. Harrison Haynes comes in to play a tackle, and one of the Millers will move under center, will move over the football and snap the football for Lebanon. Harrison Haynes will go to that tackle spot. Stillman's had that crap twice now tonight. Lebanon with a first and 10 at the Bradley 42-yard line. Blue Devils out of the huddle and up to the line. Jones and Defendall to the near side. Schaefer flank to the far side. Lannon sets him down. Lannon, straight drop back, wants to throw. Looks, fires long, Schaefer's there, and it is broken up. Schaefer draws a crowd, Clyde, when the ball's in the air. Three defenders converge on Schaefer, and a defender right in Chad Lanning's face as he delivers that football, wasn't able to really follow through like he wanted to with that defensive pressure. Second down and 10 for Lebanon on the incomplete pass. 8-10 to go in the game. Lebanon trails 32-13. Second and 10 for the Blue Devils. They are behind 32-13. 8-18 to go as Tommy told you. Schaefer again goes wide. Jones and Defendall to the left. Lanning sets them down. Antoine Ross comes in motion to the near side and they swing it out to Ross. Ross needs a block trying to turn the corner. He's at the 40. Ross runs out of bounds at the 35 hit once after he gets out of bounds but no flag down picked up a nice block out there by Defendall Clyde as they ran the little flood route they ran Antoine Ross in motion to the near sideline that gave him three receivers on one side of the field Defendall with a good lead block